Hello and welcome to this blog. We are going to just take a quick peek at the new hatch option inside of AutoCAD 2025. My name's Eva Helps and I'm with Siler Design Solutions. So welcome and here we go. Just wanted to show you guys a new feature in AutoCAD 2025 that's pretty cool. Pretty simple feature, but it is going to be a very useful tool. So inside of AutoCAD, if you go to your home tab, to your draw panel up here, normally you can go to the hatch, right? You can go to hatch, the hatch command there, and the contextual ribbon pops up outlined in blue here. You have your options to change the type of hatch pattern, whether you want to use a current layer or pick a layer, etc. You also see that you have the option to either pick an internal point, which is the default, or select objects. This is what you would normally do in the past. You could select an internal point on this rectangle here because it's a closed object and accept that. Or you can go back to that hatch command and you can go to select objects by either typing in that S, enter, or hitting select objects down here. Then you could select the circle and again, that is how we did hatch previously. So in 2025, you now have the availability when you go to this hatch, you see there is a new option down here called draw. So if I select draw, it is asking me to create my hatch area, my hatch mode. So if I start selecting points out here inside of model space, it automatically creates that hatch without having that closed boundary, which was a prerequisite before. So that is pretty cool. You can create your own, hit enter to accept that. Or if you had an area that you say you wanted to hatch in just one of these rooms and outline around the furniture or something along those lines, if I go to the hatch command again, I'm already in draw mode since that's what I was in, but you can easily go around this room, excluding all the different, different items. You can even do arcs like I just did there which I didn't connect to the endpoint very well there, but you get the idea. Uh, and go ahead and go around whatever obstacles you wanted to, to create that hatch in a certain way using the new draw option inside the hatch command. Pretty cool and useful tool. Just wanted to show you how that works. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. My name's Eva Helps with Siler Design Solutions. You can reach out to me at ehelps at siler-ds.com or the whole CAD technical team at cadtechnical at silerinst.com. Or you can head over to www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog and you can subscribe to our blogs, newsletter, and take a look at the other services and training that we can provide. Thanks.